In the 1970s, groundwater in the North China Plain flowed eastward into the Bohai Sea, but by the 1980s, that flow began to change directions. Once the use of water in this region increased, it consumed the nearby water and pulled the entire groundwater level down. The natural flow of the water system has changed, and it has become a cone of depression. Cones of depression not only change the flow of water underground, but it can also pose a threat to the physical land above them, causing possible sinkholes and a fracturing. According to local geological department, this is, is caused by the crack as a result of depression cone. The crack runs through the village and has caused the varying levels of damage to the houses here and turned some of the houses totally inhabitable. This was once Dong Jinghua's home. It was built in the 1980s. But just three years after the crack appeared in 2005, it became inhabitable. Every year for about two weeks after the spring irrigation period, we can hear cracking sounds inside the house. A survey by the Hebei Geological and Mineral Exploration Bureau discovered that this crack measures nearly 30 kilometers long and runs through six villages. The depression cone Dong Jinghua and his fellow villagers are living on is the biggest in Hebei province, spanning some 1,400 square kilometers. It may lead to seawater intrusions or ground fracturing and sinkholes. This will pose a great threat to the buildings, roads, and bridges on the surface, and it's very hard to contain. In all, there are so far 26 cones of depression in Hebei province. Seven of them are over a thousand square kilometers. And 70 percent of the North China Plain is on a depression zone. But perhaps the most worry of all is that these numbers are still growing. Ning Hong, CCTV, Hebei province.